So earlier this year, I said I was making a website and algorithm trainer, and they're finally done. Well, not actually done. I'm always going to be adding more, but at least now they're ready. So here's the homepage, and I'll give you guys a tour of some of the more important things. And by the way, it's jperm.net, not .com, because someone took jperm.com. Why would you need the name jperm? So on the main page, we have a link to some of the tutorials, and some of them are written now. So if you go check out the 3x3 tutorial, then we have the videos here, but then afterwards is a written tutorial. Some people prefer written because you can go more in detail and take it at your own pace. So if you are looking to show someone how to solve the cube, then this is a good place to start. For the blindfolded tutorial, this is actually pretty different from both of my video tutorials. So it's all written, there's diagrams, and I think this is probably more clear. So if you try to learn blindfolded or you know, you're just getting into it, I think this might actually just be better than the videos. And then we have how to read cube notation. And uh, if you ever need a guide, we have one right at the bottom here. You can just click on it and that takes you straight to the image. Okay, and now onto the interesting part, which is the algorithm section. Um, we're gonna pick PLL. So this is the part I'm really excited about. And I also shared this to my Discord on Patreon so that um, people can help me test it. So thank you to all of you guys. So I'm gonna show you the basic features here, but if you ever just wanna see a quick guide on how it works, then you can click the question mark and there's a video right there. But basically in this section is where you organize your algorithms. So there is a default algorithm given to you for every single case, which is just the one I use, but you can change it by clicking that button and um, you can change it to the other suggested ones, or you can just type in your own. You can type in whatever you want, but um, like make it an actual algorithm that you use. And the image here also rotates. So if you um, choose one with Y or Y prime or any cube rotation in the front, let's pick Y2, this block should go to the other side, you press update, and then there it is. So um, the cube rotation goes away here. So it's, you can see how you would execute the algorithm. And then of course these arrows, you can sort these. So I can sort them by algorithm length here. So longest one, oh my God, that's long. And this information is stored on your browser. So if you leave and come back, it's still going to be here. But um, if you change browser or go on your phone, then it won't be there. You'll have to do it again. I'm thinking of adding some feature where you won't have to do that, but that's for the future. So this essentially is to replace what a lot of people do, which is make Excel sheets for their um, algorithms. And I've done that in the past too. I had to organize it all and get pictures. That's really annoying. So that's just all right here. Now to help keep your algorithms organized as you learn them is um, you can click on it to show that you're currently working on this and that's yellow. And if you click on it again, that turns it green, which means you are done. For example, let's say I learned the end perms, but I haven't learned E, Y, and F. Uh, then you can keep this even more organized by going to settings and moving all of the ones you're learning to the top. So you can see those first and the finished ones to the bottom so that you don't have to look at them. All right, now the more exciting part, which is the trainer. So what you do here is you just follow the scramble. And obviously it works like a timer. I got an F perm here, so I will just start the timer and do the algorithm. And uh, it will just record all your times for you. Okay, so this time I got R perm. And let's say I forgot how to do it. Then what you can do in this case, is instead of going back to your algorithm list, you can just press the right arrow key and that shows you how to hold it. So you should hold this block at the back and this on the left. And then it tells you the first move you should do. And if that's enough to jog your memory, then that's awesome. But um, if you still want more, then you just keep pressing right arrow key and it will show you eventually the whole algorithm. So I actually learned a lot of my two by two algorithms like EG1 from uh, using this trainer. So I think it's really useful, especially when I forget, which is very often. All right, and then if you click on the 21 cases selected, you can make it so that not every PLL can show up. So uh, right now it's on all, if we move it to groups, and for example, just edges only. And there are four PLLs where you just solve the edges only. And so that's one way you can do it. You can also go by status, which is the colors that we've set. So for example, I can just uh, train the ones that I'm learning right now, or maybe also the ones I've finished because I should know those ones. And then probability is an interesting one. Um, I would keep it on balanced because how balanced works is uh, it will give you every algorithm before any repeats show up. So that makes it a lot better for training because you won't get like one case over and over. And you also won't have one case that just like never shows up. All right, then one more thing, let's go to COLL. So here I have all the COLL cases except for soon and anti soon. But if you still want to learn them, uh, they're in the trash right now. <laughs> you can move cases in and out of the trash, but right here, um, all the anti soon and all the soon cases are in red, as in they are just not going to show up in your algorithm list because maybe you don't want to learn them. Uh, you can add more if you'd like. All you have to do is press that. And if you want to add multiple, just hold shift and press more and then um, update or press enter. And now I just removed a bunch of T cases. So um, see only T1 and T6, the other ones are just gone. 
So this only applies to larger algorithm sets where either it, you're not gonna learn them all because there's too many or certain ones just don't make sense to learn. And lastly, I do wanna give one piece of advice uh, because this is about learning algorithms and I don't think I've mentioned this too much on my channel before, but if you're learning algorithms, especially with a trainer, you can really waste your time if you just do the algorithms over and over. Um, you wanna take breaks. So when you're learning algorithms, you're really training two things and that is uh, your ability to do the algorithm quickly and your ability to quickly remember what algorithm you should do when you get a certain case. But if you just do the trainer over and over and you know what cases are coming up, it doesn't really help in the second category, which is knowing uh, what case you're supposed to do when you see it. Because when you come back later, like in an hour or the next day, then you won't be as good at it. So for example, if you have 15 minutes to train algorithms, it's probably better to train for five minutes uh, and then go do some other stuff for five minutes and then come back and train for another five minutes. That way you, the second time um, you're training recall as well. But if you just train for 15 minutes straight or even an hour straight, I think that's less effective. So make sure you use the trainer responsibly, take breaks, it's also good for your hands. I will put things on the homepage when new features are available. So for example, like new algorithm sets, maybe VLS or uh, new tutorials or just a completely new feature that I decided to add. And I may also make posts about that elsewhere. Oh yeah, I have Instagram now. So check that out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, a few places on the website, I included my email as the way to contact me, but please don't email me if it's not something important. You can email me website suggestions or maybe a screenshot if something went wrong, but uh, don't just use it as a place to chat with me because I probably uh, will not have the time to reply to everybody if you do that. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.